It's your girl, Queen, reminding you guys to connect with us on patreon.com slash tmgfam, where you can get full exclusive access to all content, bonus videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, lives, and so much more. What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen the Queen. We back with another reaction video, man. And we know we a little bit late, yes, but we, we got we, we got perfectly good reasons now. We got a sick kid, so we've been tending to that. Yes. But you know what I'm saying? We know the show must go on. So we back with Comedy Hour. Just a slight late. Because um, Comedy Hour is like a necessity. It yeah, has yeah, to yeah. We, we need it after the day we had today. I think you've been everywhere. Bing, 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 bing. I called L D and I was like, uh, listen. <laughs> whenever whenever you hit somebody, you'd be like, uh, listen. That's normally followed by, okay, I need a drink. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Like, you know, it was about three, four. Drinks you had? No, it was about three or four o'clock. But I was like, <laughs> I need to, you know. Yeah, so I need this lab, you know, I need this. And I know a lot of my fam need this. So. Absolutely, so we're gonna get into it tonight. You wanna? Oh, let me order yeah. the food. Make sure you hit get the food order Don't for the know. boys. So listen, man, we about to check out uh, Uncle Ron. Like, yeah, I've been on y'all Uncle Ron kick. I've been getting flooded, flooded with Uncle Ron videos. So a lot of them that y'all have already seen. So just check back through. If you're new to the channel, just go back through the archive, man. Some of those that you guys are sending me, we've already done, all right? Now, this joint here is called Live Trees. We also got an Uncle Ron, California Cops. And now uh, you guys requested Sinbad on marriage. So we're going to be checking out these joints right here, all right? What are you laughing at? What's so funny? What's so funny? No, 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 no. Let us, let us all in on it. Let me in on it. Oh, man. Look at Uber Eats. I thought they had that, bro. You done seen the Sinbad or something? Mm-mm. You never seen it? Mm-mm. All right. Let's get into it. You got the food order? Almost. Um, I'll finish it in just a minute. I was having a fight with the landscape guy because, like, half the plants died. You know, it cost tons of money. And I was having a fight with the landscape guy because, like, half the plants died. You know, it cost tons of money. And half the plants died. And the guy's fighting with me over whether or not a tree is alive or dead. All right, can you believe that shit? <laughs> you know what? We walk over, there's two trees, right? Not one leaf on either one of them. It's September. The forest is a bloom. Right? <laughs> and I said, those two trees are dead right there. And he goes over to one of the trees and he scratches the trunk of it with his thumb. And he comes back and he says this, and I quote, the core of this tree is still alive. What? <laughs> I said, let me tell you what I'm looking for in a fucking tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm looking for a tree that you can tell is alive even if you don't know shit about trees. <laughs> right, that's me. I don't want to spend the next two years every time somebody comes over to my house going, oh no, those trees are fine right there. Go scratch the trunk with your thumbnail. <laughs> you will find a vibrant core. No. I don't blame them. You ain't got a green thumb? No. No, you don't. I don't. At all. And if I'm painting landscape or nah, you got some choice words. <laughs> You killed my tree. No more landscapers. You know, the last landscaper we had, he had a bit of a little bit of a crush on you. You remember that? I just remember that you didn't like me handling any type of business with him. That's right. And go in the house. That's right. Go in the house. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he was a little too, uh, he was a little too into you. you know, he was making special visits, little pop-ups out of nowhere. Like, bro. He you, was, no. Like, bro, well, you just cut the grass like a week ago. Like, it ain't, no, it, it, no, you just cut it a few hours ago. You back again to try to cut the grass, First bro? First of all, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, he was. He was a little <laughs> he overzealous. He lived in the neighborhood, and he, like, he was, like, you know, fixing the straw and stuff. Yeah, he was trying to fix your straw. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he was trying, trying to use his straw. <laughs> Shut up. Here we go, California cop. 
every time I read a newspaper in Los Angeles, California, I get pissed because uh, things don't have to make sense in L.A. I read an article in the paper in L.A. that said they're going to try to outlaw the big screen, real life handgun shooting video games because they say that that's what's wrong with the youth of America today. They learn how to accurately shoot guns uh, with video games. It's not a parenting problem. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> No, it's a video problem. Doesn't that piss you off when you have a genuine problem you try to tack a solution to? It's got nothing to do with the problem. You know what I mean? I came up with a great idea. Don't outlaw those machines. Give them to the state troopers of California because they're some of the worst shots I've ever seen in my life. I saw a shootout once live on TV that went on for so long, eventually the criminal got frustrated and shot himself. <laughs> And the cops are on TV whining about it, going, he's got on body armor, he's got on body armor. I'm watching it live on CNN going, I can see his head, shoot him in the fucking head. <laughs> Give my kid a shot. <laughs> How's that, daddy? Good shot, poot. <laughs> Everybody relax, poot took him out. Poot, wow. Thank God poot was there with his considerable skills. Horrible shots. Some cops are. You ever see tape of the Kehoe brothers from Ohio? Those guys that get out of that white suburban, they show it on cops. These guys, folks, have a shootout with the police at point blank range. <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> I would love to have been at the office the next day when that guy's being interviewed by the chief. And then what happened? Well, at that point, I unloaded my semi-automatic 9mm weapon at point-blank range. And then what happened? They left. <laughs> nice shooting, Elmer Fudd. There was a kid in Detroit three years ago shot eight bullets, hit nine people. These two cops shot 22 bullets, didn't even hit the fucking suburban. gotta go back to the range to the gun range yeah ah last time i took you to the gun range i realized and i learned something about you what you can shoot give those guys a roll of so it kind of made me reevaluate my whole life decision of taking you to shoot and teaching you how to shoot because you got really good while learning and you was doing some things that i was like it's like my life flashed before my eyes and stuff like that. So, no, I don't want to take you shooting no more. You know, they have ladies night on Thursdays. Yeah, I'm going to report your car stolen. Borders <laughs> drop them off at the mall. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's just not like Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thursdays. No, I will report your car stolen. Marriage is work. Marriage is a career. It's not an adventure. You do more before five than most folks do all day. <laughs> it's like the military. Hold on, we just got started. <sighs> really? Really? What? Really? What are you talking about, man? Is he speaking to your soul right now? Nah, he wasn't. I didn't. Marriage is work. Marriage is a career. It's not an adventure. You do more before five than most folks do all day. <laughs> that man. Stop looking at me. Let's hear that again. <laughs> no. It's like the military. My wife and I, we're together about six, seven years. We're married. We divorced about 10, 11 years. Now we're back together, married eight years. Because we're both so damaged, we can't be with nobody else. We had to come back home. Once you've been married to each other, you're trained. I'm trained. I ain't got time to train nobody else. She ain't got time to train nobody else. Everybody's jacked up. Go back to the one you had. I thought you was crazy. Everybody crazy. I know you're crazy. I can deal with your crazy. And all you men out here, 55 years old, trying to date some girl 20 like she like you. Are you out your mind? She wants your house. I don't see no 20 year old girls with a broke down 55 man with no money. You don't see no girl 20. Oh, he's, look at that homeless dude, but he's cute. Hey, hey. <laughs> she wants you to die. <laughs> if you keep messing with her, you will. You want.
want a woman that understands the signs of stroke. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I thought you took it. I thought I did. <laughs> you want a woman that's your nurse. See, if you go to dinner with a woman that's 55 years old and you, your little lip curl up, she know what to do. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Jamal, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, look at me. She'll get you to a hospital and save your life. But a girl 20, quit making faces at me. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Now you all stroked out for the rest of your life. Because your little cute girlfriend didn't know the signs of stroke. She come visit the hospital. I ain't know where the stroke was. I tried to tell. I don't understand you. I had a stroke. <laughs> well, can I have your house now? Since you can't live there no more. <laughs> marriage is about growing old together. Marriage is about falling apart at the same time. That's what makes it special. You live long enough, the two of you become one good person. You become one. One can see, one can hear. One can walk, one can use their hand. You need each other. You have to go to movies together. One listens, one watches. <laughs> you become a team. What? Are you all right? I can't just enjoy myself right now. We're doing a little bit extra, bro. You're doing a lot right now. A lot, 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 <laughs> lot, 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 lot. You're doing a lot. You hating? I'm just saying. One got a good right hip, one got a good left hip, and you're balanced. <laughs> They're so cute together. No, they fall down. <laughs> they need one another. See, once, once you've been with somebody so long, you just understand stuff. You have the same vision. You share glasses. You got glasses all over the house. Wait, girl, let me hear you. I think they're behind the stove. I always had 20-20 vision all my life. I can't see now. You know how I found out? I'm in a the movie theater, and I'm the only one that goes, focus it! And usually other people join in with you. They were like... You might want to move down toward the front, Sinbad. <laughs> so now I got the progressive glasses so I can see far at the top and I see close at the bottom. But then they told me you can drive with it. No, you can't. <laughs> you got to learn the sweet spot. You got to find the sweet spot. You know how many times I stop at a stop sign? Ah, it's way out there somewhere. <laughs> what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's right here. My bad, I'm sorry. So I want to help you ladies with questions you have. Anything you might have, some about a man that throws you off, some about your man that drives you crazy, I'll fix it in 13 seconds. You don't need no long counselings. <laughs> Any woman, somebody man make you mad, anything, something, shout it out, shout it. Be romantic. What does that mean? You got to be specific with a man. I don't know what you're talking about. Be romantic. What? Fix the screen door? What? <laughs> what do you want me to do? I want romance. I want romance. What? <laughs> Hold your hand, what? <laughs> then say it. Look at your man, hold my hand. Ah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> now you finally got what you're looking for. <laughs> I don't want romance, I want, can you read those books? How to make love last forever. How to have romance forever. Too much work. <laughs> Just say what you want. You got a man always forget your birthday? Forget that. Buy yourself a car, look what you got me. <laughs> He'll remember next year. You been watching Sinbad? Have you been watching Sinbad? Cause that's the stuff you do. But you'll say something. You'll say something. First of all, no, 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 no. But you say first something. First of all, no, no, no. you ain't never forgotten my birthday. I ain't never forgot your birthday. But you'll call me up and be like, 
Man, your assistant just bought you <laughs> bought me something. I don't even have an assistant. <laughs> You'd be like, yo. But she keep your wife happy though. Exactly. No, no, that's what. You'd be like, yo, yo, your assistant, yo, your assistant is bad. I'd be like, what assistant? Your assistant just got me some stuff that I needed, man. She His assistant need a raise. His assistant got me this bomb massage every month. She like, she really hooks me up. Like, yo. I don't have an a... <laughs> I'll never forget your birthday again. <laughs> that one cost me a lot of money. I can never forget your birthday or our anniversary or anything. Why? Because you make it, you made it known the first few years we lived together. <laughs> it was everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, okay, I'm help. What confuses you most about women? I'll fix it. What confuses you most about women? And I'm gonna fix it for you. I'm gonna help you understand it. <laughs> Did they act like nothing? You're not married, are you? Because you're talking. <laughs> she ain't here, is she? Why are you talking? You ain't learned nothing. You have learned nothing in your life. That's why you stay in trouble. You know what she did? She did this. She so don't know what that means. You're a single man. That means this man's in trouble. He don't even understand. She did that. They're going to be in the car. Woo! 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 Woo
Okay, I'm going to go with that. What makes a man no good? I'm going to help ladies out. He lies. That's how you make a relationship stay alive. <laughs> if a man does not lie, the relationship is done because you ask questions that make no sense. So I have to lie. <laughs> if you don't want me to lie, quit asking me questions. You keep asking me questions that you know I have to lie at. Do I look fat? No, no. <laughs> if you wasn't fat, you wouldn't have asked. That's why you asked the question. Skinny people don't say, do I look fat? Skinny people say, do you want to eat? Would you like to have a sandwich? <laughs> she just wants to see how dumb you are when you tell the truth. And men, all you young men, don't you fall for this one. Even if it hurts me, even if it hurts me, tell me the truth. They'll say how stupid, how stupid is the man I'm with? <laughs> you lie, lie, lie. <laughs> now I'm not talking about lying about cheating, lying about other women. I'm talking about little things that you have to lie about. All those little things they ask you, all kind of stupid stuff. Stupid things. Do, 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 you, do you like this movie? No, I hate the notebook. I hate it. I hate it. It's not even real. It's not real. Women love those kind of movies where she had, she had Alzheimer's and, he, and she didn't know him anymore. And he wrote a book. Remember when I met you? We were riding a bike. In real life, he'd have came to the hospital. Do you know me? No. <laughs> That is, that's so funny, because that can go both ways. I remember somebody that had a concussion and really, you know, didn't remember crap himself. Well, I was laughing at somebody. <clears throat> See, that's one of these good lies. <laughs> yeah, you better be glad you didn't forget me, because I love it. <laughs> it sounds wrong, but it's the truth. See? <laughs> See, these, these books and all, remember, it's all these, these books and these talk shows that women who don't have a man all these books and talk shows with women who don't have a man telling you how to lose the man you got because they want you to be just as lonely as they are. <laughs> Men are so simple, we freak you out. We're so simple, you can't get to it. Men are simple. We're so simple, it bothers you. You don't understand the simpleness of men. Okay, this is how simple a man, this is two men in the car and he make a wrong turn. Dude, man, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Gonna turn left and come back. That's how simple that's how. This is you with your wife. Oh God! Oh! Why would you turn there? Why? Let's just go home. I don't even want to go now. I don't even want to go. The whole night is ruined because I turn left. I can turn back around. No, I have a headache now. No, no, no. The wrong turn, that's you. That is you. I make the wrong turn. Oh, if I made the wrong turn, I gotta hear about it for the next eight turns. Yeah, I'ma clown you. No, uh. I'ma clown you. You swear you know you like a little human GPS, you know, mile marker this and all that. That's stuff. right. That's right. We don't need no directions. That's right. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Yep. Men sometimes hurt. This is men. This is what we do to speak you up. This is a man acknowledging you. Okay. That means I heard you. But that's not enough for a woman. Okay. Now say it back. Say it back. Say that test. <laughs> oh, now it's an SAT test. I have to pass the test. <laughs> this is two men having a conversation. Man, you gonna go to the club? Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> what time? What time will you be there? What? No, if, where, what way are you going to go? Well, how would you get there? If you don't know where it's at, why would you say you're going to go? You don't even know where you're going. You don't even know where you're going. You said yes. You don't even know where you're going. I got a GPS. Don't overcomplicate the situation. Make it simple. What else, ladies? Men on what? Men know how to find anything. Like what? I found everything I need. I can't find your stuff. I found everything that belonged to me. Except for the one that you moved to a better spot that makes more sense. When you move my shoes to a better spot, because that's the spot you like. What else, ladies? Huh? Snoring. Did he snore when he met you? Did he snore when he met you? He didn't when you sucked the life out of him. 
He has no air. But how did she suck it out of him? <laughs> I'll keep rolling. <laughs> he had a lot of air when you met him. He used to sleep at night. Now he's... He's just trying to survive the night. <laughs> he ain't snoring, he's dying. A little bit each night, a little bit. Y'all call it sleep apnea, we call it marriage. There's not a man here that's single with sleep apnea. <laughs> know you get sleep apnea from? Men, see young dudes, you know, women hit you in your sleep. A wife will tag you. She'll have a flashback or something. Look at you. You'll wake up. What the hell? And she'll lie. Something bit me too. Did you get bit? Something bit me too. Clean it up. You just brought spit all over us. And you always tell me not to drink during comedy hour. I'm hot now. Look at Sorry. you. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Spit all in your hand. Spit all in your hand. Fix a spider, spider. Just say you be hitting me in my sleep, man. <laughs> yes, I hit him in his sleep because he snores. Oh, that ain't the only thing you do. You can make my body contort. That's why I need me you. <laughs> to move. So all I gotta do is just like, right there, and that make your body shift now. Yeah, let's shut up. <laughs> and I want ladies to know something. We, we do go through things with you. We do go through things with you. You don't even understand it. We go through menopause. Your menopause is our menopause. Your menopause is our menopause. You don't know it, but it is. Because your system is so wacky now. Your temperature system is so wacky. By my bed, I got a parka and some gym trunks. Because I don't know what temperature is going to be when I come home. And you have to go with whatever she feels. Aren't you freezing? Aren't you freezing? Snow is coming in the window. Oh, yeah, I'm freezing. Not only freezing, little, little penguins be running First around the room. All, I ain't going through no menopause. I ain't say you going through menopause, but the kids even told you the other day, Mom, are you okay? We need to get you fixed. <laughs> That's how cold you have it in here. No, I have a condition. I was born with sleep apnea, so when I breathe hot air, I feel like I'm being suffocated. And maybe in my past life, some like the really happened to me. I don't know, but I can't breathe hot air. <laughs> and we all suffer. <laughs> Time to put on my gym trunks. Oh and then it changes five minutes later. I'm burning up. I'm hot. I'm burning up. Oh, time to put on the other suit. And then you sweat out of nowhere. <laughs> It's not like sweat like this. It's, I thought she peed on me. <laughs> so, hey, I'm <laughs> And the first time a woman have a heart fl hot flash, it looks like a heart attack. <laughs> you okay? Well, I was burning up for a second. That's what I'm saying. They don't need drugs. They need to bottle menopause so you can shoot that. <laughs> Something else, ladies. Any other question? Anything else, a man? Yes. He's what? He's messy. Okay, that's a woman's. What do you mean messy? My shirt's on the floor. Did the house fall down? Did the children die? Did the day go on? Does he work? Does he have a job? Leave the shirt on the ground. It ain't your shirt. Why are you stalking him around the house, following him? That's his clothes. Those are not your clothes. Look at this. Don't bother me. Look at that. Look at that. Don't bother me. You can't take it. You can't take that. Learn to do this. See how free I am? This is you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am sick. 
I'm sick and tired of always picking up everything. Well, quit picking it up. <laughs> you wearing yourself out. I left that shirt on the floor because I'm going to wear it again tomorrow. It's right where I want it as I go to the door. There's a method to the madness. <laughs> what else? Okay, ladies, what else? What else bothers you about us? Because this is your night. The toilet seat. Because you couldn't put it down by yourself. You didn't see what's up. You found the bathroom. How you missed the toilet seat up? Did you take your eye off the prize? Is that what you did? Did you, did you get to the door and walk in like this? Oh, I'm almost there now. I guess it's down. I guess it's down. I won't look, because if he loves me, I shouldn't have to look. I shouldn't have to look. It's your butt. You fell in. You should look. He left the seat up because he loves you. Women don't even understand that. If the seat is up, it means I didn't pee on it. That's the best gift I can give you. If the seat is up, it means it's safe for you to sit down. If you ever walk in a... bathroom and the seat is down, don't you trust it. You might stick. Yes, huh? Night humping. Night humping. It's called sleeping. So he humps you at night. If you give him some sex, he quit humping you. What? Hold on. What is night humping? <laughs> I have no idea what night humping is. I'm gonna need y'all to explain that, please. <laughs> night humping? I have never experienced that. <laughs> I need to know. Just give him some sex, a little bit. He didn't want a lot. Matter of fact, if you get naked, he might freak. He hadn't had some so long. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. I'm just humping. Why are you getting naked? See, know what you do to make a man stop doing stuff? Do what he's asking for. Men, see, that's how men are. You want to freak him out? Next time, when you get to bed, just get in bed naked. Come on, boy. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'll scare him. You forgot how to use your technique. Men act like they want stuff as soon as you do it. Well, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, well. He'll scare him. He'll be in the living room. I hope she sleep. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, man. Isn't it funny how the whole sex thing changes once you get married? For the first three or four years, you have sex. Then you got to work. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. It's a trade. It's a trade. They'll come in naked. I'll give you some if you fix something. <laughs> I fixed the light. <laughs> you got to trade out. You start taking rain checks. You don't see you date. It's all sexy. You date. What you doing? What's she, what she doing? We get married. You want to do something? Well, it's Tuesday. I wish you had said something earlier. I didn't. We usually do stuff on Thursday. I didn't know we were going. Did I need to set some DVRs? I can't. We got to tape our shows. Can't miss our shows. If you ever. If you ever. That is not funny. That is not cool. Uh uh. It's Tuesday. We got to DVR our shows. We got to tape our shows. Hit the play button. That is not funny. That is not cool. I ain't saying nothing. Hit the play button. <laughs> get off schedule. We can't get off schedule. And then once you have a baby, all the sex stops. <laughs> women freak out. Some of women want to have babies like they don't want the baby to know they was freaky. <laughs> the baby will see. I thought you said hit the play button. Oh my God. The baby, what the baby was the baby. Baby's a month old. 
Men can have sex with a baby looking right at him. <laughs> Who's your daddy? I'm everybody's dad. I'm your daddy, I'm her daddy. I'm everybody's dad. <laughs> Women freak out on that stuff. Some of y'all got kids at your house, man. They messed up your love life. They messed up your love life. Shh, shh, the kids will come in. Shh, shh. Get them to have like static sex, okay? <laughs> You're moving. No, no, I swear I'm not moving. I asked, but I was breathing. <laughs> it's your house. Those kids don't pay for nothing. Take your house back. Don't have quiet sex. Keep the door open. <laughs> Be loud. They'll only come in once. <laughs> And they'll never come back. Now you got your house back. That's what you do. <laughs> now I want to help y'all. Who got grown folks at the house? I'm going to help you. Who got grown kids can't get them out the house? Got grown kids? Grown kids can't get them out the house? I'm going to help you now. They're going to be damaged. This is going to jack them up. But they will leave your house tonight. You and your husband walk around naked and have sex. Grown kids can't take their parents having sex. It freaks them out. While they're eating breakfast, coming in naked into the kitchen. How long are you going to be here? We're going to use that table. Oh, God, Daddy. That's nasty, Daddy. Smack your wife on the butt. Your mama's a freak. They will run out of your house. Oh. We are, we are what we are, we can't help it. And then we get into relationships and things change. You get in relationships. That's why I tell people, before you have kids, travel, see the world. When you first get together, go places. Because once you have children, you're going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. That's all you're going. That's your Europe. That's your France. That's your, that's your Bermuda. Chuck E. Cheese. There's people here who are over 50 with no kids. They don't look old. Look at people with no kids, no wrinkles. They just sit there. Oh, my God, we're going, we're going to Jamaica next week. And people with kids, you don't know the joy. You don't, you don't know the joy. <laughs> Trying to make you have kids. You need some kids. <laughs> Look how happy I am. Shut up. Man. I started to say, what are you doing? How are you I didn't doing touch you? nothing. I ain't touched nothing, man. Hey, hey, how many of the, how, how many of the topics he touched on apply to y'all? Huh? How many of these topics he touched on apply to y'all? I can't wait to see the stories in the comment section I right about either. now. <clears throat> Not only the stories, also what y'all think applied to us. Because I know a lot of y'all are going to have theories about... <laughs> Which one of that applied to us and which one was us? I, I, I Let me give y'all some hints. Hey, 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 hey. Um, it ain't no trading off. No, oh, you do it. You fix some, you'll get some. Mm-mm. Oh, boy, don't do none of that. Mm-mm. No. Not happening. Mm -mm. So you just scratch that one off. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. What can I, what you, what you want me to do? I'm sorry. Listen, man, y'all get at us in the comment section. Let us know what y'all think, man. Leave a like, share, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned. It's your boy L and the Queen. Till the next comedy hour, man. We out. Y'all stay solid. And we ain't even do the intro. We ain't even tell y'all to pour up a drink or put the kids to bed. So if you watch this with the kids, it's your fault. It's your fault. Hey, now. Hey, now. It's, it's, what? It's, it's, it's not. What, whose fault is it? Like, we should have done that. We should have gave a disclaimer. Yeah. Put the kids to bed. Put the kids to bed. Fellas, uh, pour you up something nice. Ladies, let your hair down and rewatch Comedy Hour. To the next reaction video, man, we out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.